I sell print on demand t-shirts on Etsy using a company called Printify. They actually print and ship all of the shirts for me to my customers only after they've ordered them. This allows me so much more time to create new products for my store instead of spending hours a day printing and shipping orders. But one of the biggest holdups that I see people have before getting started with print on demand is they're worried about the quality that the customer is going to get since they can't actually control it. So in this video, we are going to be washing six samples that I ordered from three different print on demand companies on Printify's website. I ordered two samples each from Monster Digital, Swift POD, and Awkward Styles. I ordered these samples for a video I made a few weeks ago, testing out what size to make your pocket size designs and your back designs in your store. So I will link that video down below if you didn't watch that one yet. I asked you all in that video how many times you'd want me to wash the shirts and a consensus was at least five to 10 times. So that's what we're going to do in this video and see how the actual prints hold up. So let's jump right in. Here are some pictures of what each of them look like before washing them. I ordered them each in a different size depending on the printing company so that I won't mix them up. The top ones are in size small from the company Awkward Styles. The middle is the medium size from Swift POD. And the bottom is the size large shirt and sweatshirt from Monster Digital. Here are some close-ups of the print on the actual items before washing them. So for Awkward Styles, you can see it's a really nice print on both the shirt and the sweatshirt. Moving on to Swift POD, I actually think for the Bella Canvas shirt, this one was the nicest print here on the back. You can see how nice and bright it is. The sweatshirt already looks a little bit more faded compared to Awkward Styles, which is just the way that it actually came. And then here is Monster Digital. I think the shirt turned out very nice as well as the print on the sweatshirt, but just want to make sure you can see what it looks like before we actually wash them for the first time. Now, all of these items were printed with a technique called direct to garment printing. That's where they actually print the ink right into the shirt instead of it sitting on top of it like it would with a vinyl. And this type of print is supposed to be rated for 50 plus washes. So we're just going to test in this video today if that's true. Here are the washing instructions for the Bella Canvas 3001 shirt and the Gildan 18,000 sweatshirt. They both request that you wash them at a low heat and that you wash the garments inside out with similar colors. So that's what we're going to be doing for all of these items. Welcome to the laundry closet where we're going to be doing our first wash test. But before I get started, somebody wanted to say hello and that was Jack the Cat. Say hello, kitty kitty. All right, back to your regularly scheduled laundry. Let's go ahead and put these in and get them started and I'll let you know how they turn out. Welcome back. It is now a week later and I've been able to complete the washing test that I did on the shirts. So again, thank you to everyone who commented and requested the amount of times to wash. So I ended up deciding to do kind of a split test. So I did the first five washes inside out with the exact care instructions that the company provides to really see how you're supposed to be doing it. But then I realized that I'm not always the best with washing my laundry to the actual specifications that the shirts provide. So I did a second test after the first five and washed them not inside out, but still on cold to see how that would differ. So let's start with the results from the first test of five washes with the shirts inside out washed with like colors. So here is the first shirt from Awkward Styles. So you can see the top picture is before it was ever washed and the bottom picture is after. Now I apologize, the color looks very different, but this is just because this picture was taken at night and this picture was taken during the day. And it's crazy how much lighting can make the shirts look a completely different color. So kind of zooming in here, it's not the best picture, but hopefully you get the point. The color is really nice. It's got a really nice print to it. And then coming down here after being washed, it still looks amazing. I think it looks really almost identical. I can't really see a big difference other than obviously the colors looking a little bit different in this case. But overall, I think Awkward Styles, their shirts washed really, really nicely. 
Moving on to the Awkward Styles sweatshirt comparison. This is after we received it in the mail and then down here is after it was washed five times, inside out, like colors. And I think it held up really, really well to the wash, kind of zooming in to better compare. The brown for the Make Your Own still looks very, very dark and nice. I think overall this one washed very, very well very happy with how this one turned out to swift pod so again the top is before it was washed and the bottom is after it was washed five times with the care instructions from the production partner so looking at these kind of comparing side by side i think again it held up very very nicely so that'd be this flower to this flower would be the exact same print i still think that theirs turned out some of the brightest on the t-shirts and looks really really nicely done and again I know the lighting looks a little bit different between the two but I think overall you can tell that it washed very very well in this test here are the Swift POD sweatshirts for comparison. So again, this did come a little bit more worn looking right out of the gate, but I feel like Swift POD sweatshirts, really this is just how they look. So this was no washes and this is after five washes inside out. So again, I feel like it looks pretty much identical. So really all of them so far have turned out really well after the first few washes. Here's the t-shirts from Monster Digital, again, before any washes and after five washes. And this one, again, just like all the others, I think looks practically identical. I can't really tell a big difference between the two, so I think this one looks great as well. Here are the Monster Digital sweatshirts for the example. And again, I think they look great. I know you'll have to kind of, again, ignore the color differences because they were shot in different lighting, but they do look just of equal quality when you zoom in and look. The letters look the same, the colors look the same as far as they did in person. These all looked amazing, which is exactly why I wanted to complete the second part of this test because all of these held up so well. So I think if you really do wash your shirts inside out on cold with light colors, they hold up really nicely. But I was wondering for the people who don't do that and they don't follow the rules, what does that look like? So that's what we're going to show in this next part of the video. So this is when things actually started to change quite a bit. So starting with awkward styles, on top I have it after it was washed five times, washed correctly, and on the bottom I have 10 washes total, so five more washes, but not washing them inside out, but still on cold. And just the difference between not washing them inside out was actually super drastic. So I'm gonna zoom in here a little bit and you can see how much more faded and choppy these letters look compared to the five washes inside out. It's actually very, very drastic, so much more worn looking. Looking at these shirts from Awkward Styles, I didn't notice quite as much of a difference between the two when comparing these. It maybe looks a little bit more faded, but I think this might also just be a little bit of a difference in the color. I think the shirt honestly turned out completely fine without washing it inside out. I still think it looks really great after the 10 total washes. Moving on to Swift POD for the sweatshirts. So again, washing it five more times, not inside out. Had a similar result to Awkward Styles, but not even quite as drastic. I think this is more of a coloration difference. It is more faded, absolutely, but not maybe quite as drastically from the Awkward Styles, looking so, so bright to now looking more faded. This one definitely looks more faded after the five extra washes, but it's not as drastic of a difference from how it started since it already had a little bit of that look to it. Similar story with Swift POD for the shirts. I think the shirts turned out really nicely. I'd say the petals look maybe a tiny bit more faded in a few spots from when they first got here uh, after not washing them inside out. But again, I don't think that this makes as big of a difference for the t-shirts. And for our last one, we have Monster Digital, the sweatshirts. This was the biggest difference in my opinion. The sweatshirt came looking super solid, really nice colors, really solid print. Then after washing it 10 times, not inside out, a lot of the parts of the letters actually started to come off. So once I zoom in, this gets a little blurry, but it's a very, very, very big difference between when you washed it correctly to when I didn't. So you can see even the colors look a 
lot less vibrant. I know that the uh, lighting difference does make a big difference, so I apologize. Maybe it's not the best quality example, but you really can tell the difference in the sides of these letters pieces are coming off. It just looks a lot more faded. Definitely did not hold up quite as well, not getting washed correctly. And then lastly, the Monster Digital t-shirt example. I think again, just like the others, this looks very much close to identical as the way that it did with washing it the correct way. So what I think we learned from this test is that if you wash them correctly to the manufacturer's instructions, they will last a very long time as advertised. The shirts, if you wash them the wrong way, still last a really long time and look great either way. It was just that these sweatshirts, if you don't wash them inside out, really start to fade. Sorry if you can hear the dogs barking downstairs. But I really think that if you put your care instructions in your photo cards, put your care instructions in your description, then you can't really control what people are going to do with those items. So it's just good information to have if anybody asks. Hopefully you all enjoyed this test. And if you have any ideas for other tests or samples that you'd like me to make videos on in the future, feel free to comment those down below, but not before you like this video and subscribe to see more videos like these in the future. It does really help my channel more than you could know. And I appreciate all of you who comment and like all my videos. You guys are all the best. And then I do at the last part of this video have a quick great announcement that my new course, the POD Roadmap, is now finally live and available on my website, cassiejohnson.com. I will link that down in the description as well. But please be safe. I will never message you in the comments and ask you to hit me up or WhatsApp me for payment. The only place my course will be available is on my website, Cassie Johnson. Dot com. I do have a ton of free, wonderful content here on YouTube, but if you are looking for a more step-by-step, -step, exact process with a private community on Discord of other people doing the same thing as you, where I answer your questions every single day, then definitely go check that out at the link down below. And as always, thank you so much for staying all the way until the end, and I'll see you in the next one.